Welcome K fans, this is K to the World and we have news about Stray Kids. We cover a lot of K-pop news, so be sure to hit that subscribe button now. Leaked pages from an alleged internal HYBE document, the HYBE Weekly Music Industry Trend Report, has ignited a firestorm of controversy among K-pop fans. The report, dated August 17, 2022, provides a critical analysis of Stray Kids' promotional activities, raising questions about their viral strategies, and even taking aim at member Hyunjin's dance abilities. The leaked report scrutinizes Stray Kids' participation in viral dance challenges, particularly highlighting their collaboration with JYP Entertainment's Japanese girl group Naizu, while acknowledging the trend of idol groups exchanging challenges, the report demisses the collaboration as strategically insignificant, suggesting it wouldn't do them much good. Further fueling the controversy, the report makes a disparaging remark about potential collaborations with other girl groups. It claims that a challenge with TWICE would make Stray Kids look like a bunch of jobless youths with no appeal. While a challenge with ITZY could expose their perceived lack of dance skills in comparison to the ITZY members. The report also takes a direct hit at Hyunjin, one of Stray Kids' most popular members, by questioning his dance abilities. It cites an incident where Hyunjin attempted to dance to New Jeans' Hype Boy during a live broadcast, claiming his performance was so badly executed that it caused a bit of an issue. The report concluded that his failure to establish himself as the main dancer is simply because he is just not a good dancer. Obviously, these leaked excerpts have sparked outrage among stays. Many fans are criticizing Hype for its seemingly dismissive and disrespectful assessment of the group. They argue that Stray Kids' participation in dance challenges is a way to engage with fans and promote their music regardless of the collaborating group's popularity. Furthermore, fans are defending Hyunjin's dance skills, highlighting his stage presence and unique style. It remains to be seen how Hybe will respond to this ongoing backlash and whether this incident will impact their groups and their relationships with other agencies. What do you think of Hybe's internal report mentioning Stray Kids and its criticisms of the group? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with K to the World news.